So today we're talking about my first experience with paint pens and paint markers. When I originally ordered these, I thought they were paint markers, you know, and Callie got me the Posca markers. So I was like, oh, I can do a comparison. But then I realized these are paint pens. Completely different thing, had no idea. So I did this on a black canvas, I will also mention that. So I really wanted to test the white to see how well it did on a black canvas with white marker. And I did the majority of the astronaut minus like the torso. I decided to use actual paint for the torso just because these aren't like super thick tips. So it'd take me quite some time to fill in the astronaut. But overall, I think the white did all right. I had to do like two or three coats over top of the astronaut to really get them to cover up all the black. As far as drawing with them on canvas, it was definitely pretty smooth. I do think um, since it was a marker, I don't know. I felt like it wasn't like absorbing into the tip as well. I don't know. This is my first time using paint markers. So, you know, don't, don't think I'm like a paint marker expert about to tell you which one's better, which one you should get because I honestly like both of them, but for different reasons. And I, I kind of, I think I like the way the Posca markers move on the canvas versus the Artistro markers, but I like the amount of paint that comes out of the Artistro, sorry, pins more than the Posca marker. But it's only because it has a plastic tip, so you get a lot more paint at the forefront of the marker. Like, I don't know what I was expecting with the, I guess I was expecting like a, a super fine tip, like marker type material but when Callie and I open these it uh it's actually plastic and it all like just fills up this little plastic piece and it just it works like that and it's it's pretty interesting because um the reason why I like the Posca markers more than these on the canvas is because the plastic where the paint all connects it kind of drags a little bit on this canvas and uh when Callie was doing her painting it kind of started splattering just a little bit across the painting so that's the only thing that I could see running into at least using these paint pens on canvas i haven't used them on any other surfaces let me know if you guys want to see me do like i don't know it says it can do glass ceramic porcelain wood canvas metal plastic stone paper and more so really anything i guess because they left that open-ended uh for the posca markers i don't know if it gives a list of what all you can use them on but i'm pretty sure it's it's close to the same as far as surfaces go for both now those who know my history with painting i'm not a very big fan of traditional painting it's just a mess it gets real stressful i get paint everywhere then it looks like it's not a good painting so then i get pissed off and i don't continue obviously i'm sure that's all just personal stuff but these paint markers and paint pens really kind of got me back into the wanting to use paints in some artwork and stuff like that. I forgot how vibrant and just, you know, rich the colors come out versus like colored pencils, which is very faded. And I mean, honestly, like, I, I don't know if you guys watched the Rodney Ravioli video, but the oil-based markers are also really good, but there's just something about the paint marker colors that it just, it's so, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's classic looking. It's great. One of my friends actually commented on my last video talking about how the red Posca markers isn't actually red, but I would say that's pretty red to me on the, on the astronaut and the American flag. Like I would say that's pretty red. So I don't, uh, Judy, I don't know what, what you were uh, referring to there. You might have a touch of color blindness i don't know but yeah overall i'm really happy with how both of these markers performed but like i said i like them both for different reasons i like the marker tip more than the plastic pen tip but i like the way the colors come out of the pens more than the markers that's my whole main point on both of these so if you're wondering which one to get hopefully you can use what i said here uh, at your disposal and pick which ones you want. I did, however, get these for 35% off on Artistro. Uh, so I got them for like 27 bucks. So for 30 pins, that's that's not bad at all, I think. And, I, and they work really well. I don't know why they're 35% off, but if it's still going on, I definitely recommend checking those out. The Posca markers, I'm not too sure about the prices on these. I've looked into them a few times. Let's look it up real quick so I can I can keep you guys educated. Uh, my girlfriend got me these for my birthday though and they're, we had a lot of fun with them when we opened them. Babe, which ones do you like more? The other ones that aren't, aren't the Posca, I don't know what it's called. The Artistro paint pens? Yes. All right, Callie likes the paint pens more. Why do you like them more? They have a lot more pigment to them. A lot more pigment. I don't know if you guys can hear her or not, but yeah. I agree, I agree. Oddly enough, we couldn't find like a, 
a buy page on Posca's website. So I don't know if they only sell from like different uh, carriers or what. Let's just go to Amazon, you know? Like literally the, the company has taken over the entire world. Looks like about 20 bucks for an eight pack. It's, it looks just like a just like a marker tip. And then obviously both of them, you, you press it down a few times and then all the paint goes into there. But like I said, I feel like it takes a little bit longer for the paint to absorb into this than it does to reach the the tip of the paint pens. But yeah, an eight pack of these, 20 bucks. So do with that knowledge what you will. I'll leave a link to both of these in the description down below. I, I, I would also like to say I'm not sponsored by either of these companies. I'm just genuinely interested in paint markers now and I wanted to kind of give my experience, my first timer experience and my overall opinion on how I felt about them. Anyway, here is the finished painting that wow. I did with these markers. Overall, I am uh, I'm pretty pleased. Like I said, it's gotten me wanting to paint more and I'm pretty excited about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you guys didn't notice, I'm wearing the OG Boulder hoodie. I gave this hoodie to Callie when we first started dating, and it's probably my first time wearing it in a little while, but yeah, this was like my all-time favorite hoodie. If you guys wanna check out the merch that I have nowadays, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I Right now, I only have Keep On Rolling logo up there, but let me know if you guys wanna see more, because. You know, I want to I want to get into design and stuff and, you know, I want a cool shirt with a cool design on it. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. Keep your heads high. Stay positive. Keep on rolling rock squad. I'll catch you guys all later. Deuces.